Riverbank Zoo and Garden is home of more than 2,000 animals representing over 350 species from around the world. One of the most popular exhibits is right here. It's Penguin Coast. On this All Access Riverbanks, we're going to go inside this sub-Antarctic habitat for an up-close and personal encounter with these fine-feathered friends that are oh-so-well-dressed. 17 different species of penguins can be found in the area south of the equator. Of those 17, three species make their home along Riverbank Zoo's Penguin Coast, the rockhopper, king, and gentoo. Those people, when they think of a penguin, they think of an animal that's in snow and ice. But in fact, most penguin species come from temperate climates. Um, the smallest penguin species, for example, is the little blue penguin that comes from Australia long way from the snow and ice of the Antarctic. It's interesting when you see them swimming, you'll see a lot of air bubbles coming off of their body. They're actually air bubbles that are coming from their feathers as their feathers are compressed, as they dive deeper and deeper. And so generally speaking, the bigger the penguin, the longer it can hold its breath. So for our king penguins that we have in the exhibit, they can dive several hundred feet down. They look very classy, don't they? Penguins really are, are amazing birds. The black and white has an incredibly important advantage for them though in the wild because as they're swimming in the water, their undersides are all white. So if you're a predator looking up at them, all you'll see is the white underside of the penguin and the brightness of the sky. So it'll be very, very hard from below to pick out the, the bird itself. Likewise, if you're an aerial predator and you're looking down, you'll see the dark top of the penguin that is just kind of a big blur as you're looking into the darkness of, of the ocean. So up or down, they're protected just by their color and it's called counter shading. Very, very important and very beneficial for their survival in the wild. Everything in this exhibit is made specifically for the birds to give them a challenging amount of water that they can swim in give them the correct type of light that they would expect to get in the wild. Big open space and really a beautiful exhibit for them. To learn more about these birds and all the animals that call Riverbanks their home, simply log on to riverbanks.org. I'm Tyler Ryan. Thank you for joining us for this All Access Riverbanks. We'll see you soon.